What's up, guys? Sorry, it's been a very long time. Uh, life has caught up with me. You know, just a whole bunch of stuff's been going on, and it's been super cold. I mean, 30 degrees. I know it's not cold in some places that y'all are at, but here, pretty cold for me. And as you can see, I'm working out the red car. It's about to get shipped off really soon to get turboed. I have parts, car parts everywhere. Um, yeah, and the brakes, I was gonna do the install like a couple weeks ago, but like I said, it got super cold, but I have to rebuild them. And uh, they will go on. I'm just doing some quick small stuff that I have for the Lexus right now. And make you guys a quick video, because it's been a while. Um, <clears throat> basically, you know, I have really good high quality uh, orange turn signals and um, you know they have some resistors built in but no matter how good they are you know what I mean they did work don't get me wrong when I did only the rears no hyper flash but when I did the rears and the fronts one, uh, left does not hyper flash but right does um, but now I'm trying to remedy that problem by putting some resistors on it and uh, you know the LED um, a vest turn signals didn't help, you know, either. So, yeah, I bought some from Amazon right here, as you can see. And they come four pack, six pack, eight pack. I got the four pack. The reason why you need two on each side is, I'm guess from what I've learned, uh, the amp ish, I think. Um, of the bulb one is not enough uh, to prevent it from uh, hyper flashing so you need two on each side which is basically as you can see here let me get a light it's kind of dark for you guys <clears throat> you know you pull off this panel which is literally you know one of those things the bolt and another one so it's three total the three holes right here you pop it out you get a razor you cut softly through the black insulation and you grab the green and yellow stripe wire and the black so one end goes to that one and the other end goes to that one then you get another one you repeat the exact same process one for black one for green and then that should do it and they recommend you bolt it down from what my research people that have to bolt it down because it gets super hot is the people that are running like DRL daytime running lights on their high beams or their uh, LED tail lights that are on for very long periods of time then yeah you don't want it dangling because it's gonna get super hot running for that long and <clears throat> Uh, double side taping it it's not good for those neither but for turn signals you know you don't use turn signals for a long time it's either on or off and then when it's on it's not more than two minutes and even if it is it's only like one time you know what I mean it's not gonna keep on happening to you um, so I think double side tapes gonna cut it um, so this is what I am doing right now I am going to set up I'm gonna do the other part and I'll show you when it's finished. So as you can see, let's see if I can get it. So I just basically made sure on each of them they're same, facing the same way. 50 watt going that way, 50 watt going that way. So this side is gonna go to the black 
on both of them. See, first one goes to black, tapped in, and then this one goes into black, tapped in. This one goes into the green, yellow stripe, tapped in, and then this one goes to the green, yellow stripe, tapped in. So they're basically tapped on top of each other. This side and this side, black, black. This side and this side, green, yellow line, green, yellow line. So let me get the key and let's see if this side stops hyper flashing. Okay, just turn the car ignition on. Turn on the turn signal. Wow, they're working, per they're working perfectly. My Avest turn signal. Let's see if that's blinking correctly also. The front. Everything's working. And let's test out the, let me see. It's been blinking for about 40 seconds now. And you see I'm holding them in my hand. They're warm. They're slowly getting warmer as no longer they run, but not to the point where it's burning my fingers. Nowhere near that. Um, so I, I'm. It's been almost a minute now. So I, I'm saying it could be like literally, it could run for two to two minutes, to three minutes before it gets unbearable. And I think that's like really a long time enough for you know turn signal. And I think you can use double side tape for that. But yeah, um, I'll get to the other side. I'll As be right back. See, I got some double-sided tape. And I think I'm going to mount them right here. I'm going to get some black tape and retape all that so it looks all OEM again. And this, I'll just stick it somewhere right here, both of them. One right here and one below it. And retape everything so it looks OEM and call it a day. Okay, so I mounted them, mounted them up here. Uh, I zip tied everything to make it neat. Uh, I said previously I was gonna wrap everything with black tape, but I rethought that. Uh, for example, if one does go out or two goes out or whatever, and you want to change them, of course it's easy to. You can just pop those open, remove the one that's bad or both, and just change two brand new ones. Um, just by clipping the three zip ties and popping those red tab T taps out, and you're done. Um, I have done stuff like this before where I wrap it in black tape, you know, I have the, you know, really high quality <clears throat> black 3M tape in here, and I had the, you know, the German cars, uh, what's this called, cloth tape for wires too, it's called Tessa tape, and uh, when it's time to take it apart, it's a pain, especially the 3M tape, I might use the Tessa tape, because that's easy, easy to remove, um, but, you know, I want it to be easy access so I don't have to sit there and cut it slowly and peel every single layer of tape back. Just replace one in case they go bad. And when they sit there for months on end or, you know, years or days or weeks, they get really sticky and they stick together. It's, it's a pain in the ass to get it apart. You have to get a razor and literally cut through it and you could cut through wires and all that. So I hate that. Uh, so I might leave like that or use Tessa tape. We'll see. And that's just a quick update. I'll be right back. Okay, this side's back in. I put the top cl clip, this clip, of the bolt in the back, twisted that on for the net. Everything is sealed nicely. It's a little bit tight right here. I should have made sure to push the T-taps a little bit down, but it's n it's okay. <clears throat> it's not sticking out or anything, putting indents in the, the liner. But everything fits good, sealed. Now on to this side. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Now, you know, before I started this whole thing, this side was working fine. Only this side was hyper flashing. Now that I did this side, this side's not hyper flashing anymore. Now this side hyper flash super bad. So let me show you guys that. Very bad. Super bad. So now I gotta do the other side too. I thought I, thought I could get away with it, but I guess I can't. <clears throat> and I got some carbon fiber pieces for the side right here, the silver pieces and the center console and the whole mouse track thing, the whole cup holder thing is carbon fiber center console and the two silver pieces on the side. Everything's gonna be carbon fiber really soon. The first pieces that are here, they're side pieces. Um, as you can see, I have the CUDA foam mount right there. Um, that is there for, you know, so I can hold your phone basically. <clears throat> and um, your, I guess uh, you're supposed to buy an extra foam mount or something that Suppose it clips on there or something and it holds your phone. Well, I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I customized it. I bought some really strong magnets, the strongest ones I could find. And I made it so that literally it could hold anything. I can hold my vape. Is this screwdriver not metal? Guess not. Get something metal. It can hold my vape, which is metal. Um, my controller. <clears throat> Bought a really cool controller for the uh, for the Android screen in there, so I don't have to reach and touch the screen. Um, and. Uh, air ride suspension controller once I do air ride because I want something a solution that is really Nice and neat and clean So I don't have to worry about it But yeah, I Think I think something the magnets probably fall fell down. Let me see. Okay. Let's do this again <laughs> So yeah, I got some carbon stuff coming. Uh, I have the sides already these two silver pieces carbon console and a carbon mouse cup holders this whole piece right here is carbon uh the first ones i got are the sides i got this kudo foam mount and basically uh you have to use your foam mount or something to clip onto it and get it to work it's like a whole thing so basically i didn't like the idea i customized the inside of it with magnets i got it to work so now it can hold, like, for example, when I'm driving my vape. And this is size metal. See? It's metal. Um, hold my vape right there while I drive. I have a controller for my Android screen, watching some RPM. Um, that is basically a touchpad, so I don't have to reach for the screen every time. It has a keypad and everything all in one, this little cool controller. And basically, I put a piece of magnet on the back of that, you know, 3M double sided tape magnet. I put it on the back of the controller, so I just put it right here. It'll hold it, my controller right there, my vape, my controller. Um, and but the most important thing I wanted to use it for was for the um, air ride controller. So when that when I do air ride, um, this is the main thing I wanted so that it could hold that. So yeah, it's magnet. As you can see, it's. It just takes it in. Very strong magnets. See? It'll roll down. But like that, it won't go anywhere. See. So, yeah, it's magnet. So that's pretty cool. I customized that. I have the pieces already, but I'm just waiting for a couple more things before I put the carbon sides on uh, with this. Which, that was pretty fun customizing. Um... 
got the idea from Rodney. He uh he kind of helped me out. Uh, I had to figure out the dimensions and all that stuff, but he he's he gave me the idea. Um, he did it to his. So yeah. Um, so let's get to the back. And man, it's so cool. It's not high flashing anymore. Oh, that side's bad. Okay, let's go to the back. Gotta turn off my screen. And I am thinking about, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm thinking about giving this screen away. I have a Lexion screen in the house. This one's work works fine. It works perfectly, actually. No problems at all. Um, as you can tell, over here is pretty cool. It shows you, you know, how many, how much gas you have left. Your parking brake. You see, I just let the park brake go, turn white. And now I'm gonna press it. Not release. Released. So that's pretty cool. Doors unlock. Seat belt unfastened. It tells you everything. Your AC stuff's up there. So yeah, I might. I'm thinking about giving it away. It's just you know, I want to give back to the people that have subscribed um, and follow me on Instagram and all that stuff. I know I'm not good at editing like most of the YouTubers, but I'm trying my best. Uh, I will get better hopefully. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm thinking about giving back uh, either that or some gift cards, you know, 100 bucks here and there. I am not making any money off of YouTube, as you guys know. I'm barely over 350 subscribers, which is a lot, but I don't have any, you know, I'm not making any money. So, I'm just trying to give back uh, to the people that subscribe. Um, so, subscribe if you like, because I found out 95% of y'all that watch my videos are not subscribed. So, yeah. Let's get back to the tail. Okay, before I put it back, I did this side array exactly the same thing as the other side. I stuck one right there next to the wire and I stuck one at the bottom. So they're pretty good distance apart. I learned from that side, you put it too close, it will take up a lot of space. Um, the carpet won't seal all the way. It seals part good, but not as good as I want it. So I kind of split it up one beside that wire where there's a hump already. Right there as you can see it and one under there so now shouldn't be any pressure on the carpet and i'm gonna put everything back and i'll show you the lights okay i got everything buttoned up zip tied cleaned up clean the trunk up though let's go see let's start the car up and see if we still got hyper flash on any of the sides Sorry guys, I'm getting in and out weirdly. Got too much shit in the garage for me to open the door all the way. Okay, step on the brakes. Just let the fuel prime. It has E85 in there, so. Okay, step on the brakes. Starts right up. Turn signal, you guys. Let's test the left one. It works perfectly. No hyper flashing. Let's test the right side. No hyper flashing. So it works great. Off. I did the left side and I tried only one. It works, uh, it prevents the hyper flash, but that one got hot a lot quicker than the right side where there was two taking the load. So I guess the two also helps with that too. Uh, I guess it splits however many amps or whatever uh, it takes uh, into two resistors instead of one. So the two resistors on the right side took a lot longer to get to the point where I couldn't hold it which was like two three minutes of straight turn signal the left side within like a minute a minute and a half 
uh, that one got so hot I couldn't hold it anymore. So yeah, the, the the two is a lot better. So I would recommend you guys do two. Um, and like I said, everything is good to go. Everything's working. I'm just gonna let the car run, warm up. I haven't started up in like three weeks. So I'm gonna start up, let it run for a little bit, get the oil flowing. Um, and that's it. I'll come back with, hopefully the next video will be the big brake kit install or the um, carbon fiber install on the sides right here. I'm putting this here right now just to, uh, it's metal. So I need something so that the magnets down there can at least hold on to it have something to hold on to so it can at least stick up to the back of this uh, thing so that it won't fall off because down here there's a piece of metal and uh, the first time I did it <clears throat> that piece of metal was sucking the magnets down so that's um, so the magnets fell off so I redid redid the magnets and the adhesive but I'm gonna leave something metal right here so I so that it can suck up you know this way to the back of this part so it can adhere to it for a good while I'm gonna leave it for like a week or so so it can completely dry so it won't fall off so that's what I'm doing here the magnet the piece of metal magnet uh, and like I said 95% of y'all are not subscribed so please subscribe um, I will start doing giveaways you know as you can tell I am not making a dime off of YouTube but I appreciate you guys the ones that are subscribed and following me I'm gonna give back uh, gift cards or this Android screen which I'm using um, so yeah uh, like share and subscribe I'll talk to you guys later peace okay let's unbox these boxes a little bit more space okay the vertex fog lights are here guys let's look together Been waiting, how long has it been? Like three months for these. Finally here. Super excited. I wanna show you the rest of the carbon stuff I got. And I got more coming. Okay, here we go. See these Japanese words right here? Versex Japan. Well, they make it, they make sure it doesn't go anywhere. That's for sure. Let's look at this first one. Ooh. So Vertex has two versions of this. They have the uh, the LED one, which I don't like, um, and uh, this one. So luckily, the LED one uh, is the one that's at discontinue, and this one is still being made. Oh, look at that! Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that's nice. I have the, uh, I'm pretty sure if you have the, um, jet, jet something, fog lights, they will fit. And, uh, the iJDM ones, which I have, I know they will fit. Yeah, they look beautiful. Wow. Japan quality right here. It's beautiful. Let's check out the other one. My kids are in the background. You hear them. Okay. Lexus GSE 30, 3135, AVE 30, 13. 
350, 300H250, LX mode. Yeah, see, so this is how it's gonna look over the fog light, F Sport bumper. Has some uh, 3M adhesion promoter, a primer, some type of primer, hat primer. So that's pretty cool. I love Japan parts. That Alex mode. Other side. Good, right? So that's that. Those are the fog covers. I'll put on. Uh, I'll make a video putting them on. They're just basically double-sided tape. Super easy install. So I'll make a video on that. And uh, I'm gonna show you some other things I got. The IRA open. I should have made a video. But I got these from Alvin Wong. I got some more stuff coming from him. My sensor console is coming from him, all carbon. It's a whole mouse center console and carbon is coming. But I got this first. Um, the little side panels, which they make a cheap version you can get on eBay. But the only thing, the ones on eBay, that it just it goes over your silver one. That this, yes, it covers this whole side carbon, but this side is still silver. That's why I hate. So I wanted this whole thing in carbon. So I got these on both sides. They're sitting right here. I haven't installed that yet. And I got a carbon cluster right here that goes around your cluster. I might be giving one of these away. See, that's a carbon cluster that goes around the cluster, full carbon. So yeah, I might be giving one of these away to our, my to the subscribers. Like I said, I'm not in this for the money or whatever. I'm in this to share my experience modding all my cars, not only, not only my Lexus. And I want to give back to the Lexus community. Um, Cause even though there are some assholes on there, there are some cool people that I'm really close friends with. Uh, and some people that I help all the time. Uh, I love the Lexus community, even though, like I said, some are assholes. But yeah, I'm gonna give some things away, like this carbon cluster. Maybe I'm pretty sure. I'm like I'm like seventy percent sure I'm giving away an Android screen. And these stuff aren't cheap, you guys. I mean, might to some people might sound cheap. But these are $300 each, and if you think about me giving one or two away, that's 600 bucks. And um, the Android screen is another six to $700. That's over $1,000 that I can use on my car for a carbon fiber hood, and uh, I'm giving it away to you guys. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to show the, a little unboxing before I do the install. Um, let me show you the diffuser. It's basically a, a rep replica kind of aim gain carbon diffuser. It looks exactly like the aim gain one. Sorry for the mess. I have a I have kids, so their toys are everywhere. Full carbon. So those are the side pieces. <clears throat> Let me show you guys uh, some other parts I have out here. I have parts all over my house. Uh, I got 
the Arc Performance exhaust on the car right now, but they have single tips and they have the dual tips now, but they're too small. So I got some Megan stainless steel burnt tips right here, quads. I'm gonna cut the tip off the Arc and weld those on to fit into the carbon diffuser. That's my plan. Our, our racing Raider hose, some kicks. Lug nuts right here from Japan. Uh, those are gonna go hold the uh, new wheels on the car and I got tires over there But I can't install the wheels and the tires and all that stuff right now because I haven't installed my Brembo brake kit um, Once the Brembo's go on then I'll put the wheels and tires and all that stuff on these blacked out LED Lights right here. They're gonna go on with the diffuser to match my tail lights and the tips So, yeah, I got a lot of parts. These are uh, custom DRLs, these two boxes, and this big box right here. Custom DRLs and custom uh, headlights for my SS. I haven't put them on yet. I got a fire extinguisher, the bracket which, with the H3R fire extinguisher, a car fire extinguisher. They only make car fire extinguishers. <clears throat> but, yeah, I have a lot of car, car parts waiting to go on the car. Um... But yeah, I just thought I showed you what came today, which are these. Super excited to put them on. And I uh, have a lot of parts to put on and show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and the installs are coming. Yeah, I got the Cybon lip right there still. I have it installed. It's been there for over a year. Cybon lip. been there for a long time and uh, the rotors for the Brimbos are right there floating floating rotors the calipers right here I have installed I have to rebuild them put them on with the rotors once the big brake kits install then the rotor forms go uh, not the rotor the uh, I forgot the brand wheels uh, they start with the F I forgot four stars they go on with the uh the 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 brakes and i got the tires over here ready brand new tires ready for the wheels those are some calax ctsv wheels for the ss gotta get them refurbished but yeah a lot of parts you guys and uh house is a mess new house so i got clothes everywhere stuff everywhere we haven't fully settled down settled in yet so yeah I hope you all enjoy everything, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.